I recently took a short break over the holidays from making videos. And during this time, I caught up on some shows, books, and games that I'd put off, as well as found new ones that slipped under my radar, like watching the whole season of LEGO Masters, or reading through Mobile Suit Gundam The Origin. But what was by far the most impactful was If Found. Hey guys, I'm Mike and welcome back to the Lions Lounge. This is another fun Let's Drink episode. A chill time where I sample some booze and just like the last episode, talk about something I'm really passionate about. This time being If Found. And I figured what better way to gush about this game than over some Irish whiskey given its setting. That being said, before I dive headfirst into If Found, let me sample my first whiskey. This one is Bushmills, which is the oldest brand out of all the whiskeys I have here. It's a great starter, so if I wanted to introduce people to Irish whiskey, this is what I would go with. As the name suggests, it's smooth and mellow, so it's great by itself, but also a fantastic component in cocktails. And it's also usually my go-to when I make an Irish coffee. Like with wine, with whiskey, you usually give it a smell to wet your palate. This kind of puts in your mind some flavors that you think of before you take your first taste. So in this case, I smell the oakiness of the barrels, just a tiny bit of baking spices. It's pretty subdued, but yeah, it's mostly the oakiness. Let's give it a taste. The spiciness is a lot more prevalent on the taste than on the nose, but otherwise it is smooth and mellow. As I said, this is a great starter Irish whiskey and kind of a testament to what differentiates it from something like scotch? Scotches can vary depending on where they're made and they can be strong or harsh if it's an Isla, whereas most Irish whiskeys are blended or pot stilled and they tend to be a lot smoother. So on to If Found. It's a visual novel created by Studio Dreamfield that dropped earlier last year that came to the Switch in October. The game itself is honestly pretty short. You can finish it in a couple of hours, but I don't think that's to its detriment. On the contrary, when I picked it up a few weeks ago, I was completely drawn into its story and couldn't put it down till I finished it. Visual novels are, well, visual novels. So they are very dialogue heavy. But what separates a great one from just a meh one is in how the developers are able to seamlessly weave a unique gameplay aspect into the narrative in such a way that you don't just feel like you're reading a story, but that you're experiencing it with the characters and I really think they nailed it with If Found. The game itself is split into two alternating stories. The first one involving a space explorer, Dr. Cassiopeia, who's investigating a black hole that has recently appeared and threatens to swallow up the Earth. And the second is in Ireland in 1993, where we follow Cassio, a trans woman who's returned home to her family after completing her masters in Dublin. And both of these plots I found incredibly engaging, especially in how the developers found an interesting way to tie these seemingly unrelated events together. The bulk of the narrative is given to Cassio, and it was her struggle that hit me the hardest. Her father has passed away years prior, leaving her mother and older brother Fergal in a continued state of grief, combined with the fact that they aren't able to accept Cassio as a transgender woman insulting her appearance and stating what she's going through to be, quote, just a phase. Unable to deal with it any longer, Cassio runs away and bumps into an old friend, Colum, who offers to let Cassio stay with him and his bandmates, these being his boyfriend, Jack, and their friend, Shane. And it's the relationship between Cassio and this trio that is by far the game's largest selling point. All three accept Cassio for who she is, and like her, they all feel like outcasts. Colum and Jack for being a gay couple shunned by their families, and Shane for his race as well as struggling with his own identity. They even live in an abandoned house that's literally crumbling, further echoing their state of affairs, with the house reflecting the growing tension in their lives as it continues to fall apart. And here I'm gonna pause real quick to try my second whiskey. This one is the Redbreast 12 Year. It's a pretty well-known whiskey brand that's been around since the 1900s. However, over time, Irish whiskey started to fall out of favor, and it's only really until the last couple of decades that it started to grow in popularity again. And this specific brand has been at the forefront of it. Nowadays, Redbreast is one of the most popular pot stilled whiskeys to be sold. And it's for good reason. The Redbreast 12 Year is one that I highly recommend to scotch drinkers who want to try something different. So just immediately you can tell there's a difference in hue. And that's because the Bushmills is aged for three years and the Redbreast for 12. On the nose, the baking spices are a lot more prevalent in this one. And then you get the hint of oak from the barrels they were aged in. Let's give it a taste. Yeah, this is a lot spicier. This one really makes you think of baking. It's very delicious and definitely a lot stronger than the previous whiskey. This one's a sipper that you can drink straight like this, but I also highly recommend you try it over a block of ice. I'd say after the Bushmills, this is probably one I'd recommend that's a lot more powerful. So now I wanna talk about the actual gameplay mechanism and how you progress through the story of If Found. As you may have already seen, the art direction is in the form of sketches in a notebook, Cassio's notebook, in fact. 
Each page represents a piece of the story, and in order to continue, you erase parts of the page to reveal hidden dialogue, but also the important stuff as well. And when you take a step back and really think about this, it's sad. You're essentially erasing Cassio's story, her existence. The only proof remaining that something was once there being the residue from your eraser. This mechanism combined with the incredibly powerful narrative really hits you, as well as the absolutely stellar soundtrack that nails the tense moments of the game, but also the quiet and emotional ones too. And as the story comes to a crescendo, this erasing mechanism is turned on its head, leading to a beautifully satisfying conclusion. If Found was an experience I'm really happy to have had. Of all the games I've played recently, this one had the greatest effect on me. And if you have a few hours to kill, I hope you check it out. So finally, we come down to our last whiskey. And this one is actually the newest out of all of them. This is the Dead Rabbit Irish Whiskey, which was launched last year. If you've never heard of the Dead Rabbit, it's a bar in New York City founded by two dudes from Belfast in the mid 2010s. And in the span of only a couple years, it became one of the most popular and highly rated bars in the world. And through all their hard work, they decided to release their own Irish whiskey. Not only do I love their story, this whiskey is fantastic. This is one I can recommend for people who love bourbon as it's aged for five years in bourbon barrel. So from the color you can see this is a little lighter than the red breast as it was aged for not as long. On the nose the baking spices are there, however you kind of get hints of like caramel. Alright, let's try it out. God, I love this whiskey. This is so good. When I think of Bushmills I think smooth and just kind of mellow, it's something you can kind of just chill out to. Red breast I think of as refined. You drink it over time, you drink it over ice. This one is just so complex. It's both smooth and spicy. I'm assuming it's the bourbon barrel, but it just tastes so good. You definitely get those notes of vanilla that you'd expect from bourbon, but also kind of the baking spices you'd expect of an Irish whiskey. I also tried recently substituting this in my Irish coffees and it kind of just elevates it. So now it's kind of my go-to over Bushmills. Now talking so much about Irish coffee, there's no way I could finish this video without making one. And this is my slight variation on the Dead Rabbit's own Irish whiskey recipe. So first up, you're gonna take an Irish whiskey, which I recommend the Dead Rabbit Irish whiskey, and add one and a quarter ounce or 37 and a half milliliters to an Irish coffee mug. Then add half an ounce or 15 milliliters of Demerara simple syrup. This is just a two to one simple syrup with Demerara sugar and water. Now you're gonna add about three ounces or 90 milliliters of fresh coffee. I'd recommend you just do this to eye. Next, I'm gonna add about two drops of chocolate bitters. Then top up with some whipped cream. And for garnish, I'm gonna grate some chocolate over it. And there you have the Dead Rabbit Irish Coffee. Cheers. I love a good Irish coffee. What's great about this is it's a combination of the bitterness from the chocolate and the coffee, combined with the sweetness from the Demerara simple syrup, as well as the vanilla notes from the Irish whiskey. It's a fantastic cocktail to help get you through your day or to end your day. And it's also very easy to make. Today we tasted some Irish whiskey and made an Irish coffee while talking about If Found. All three of these whiskeys are fantastic and I'd highly recommend out of all of them, the Dead Rabbit. Honestly, it's probably my favorite Irish whiskey I've ever had. And I figured the best way to end a video talking about If Found is to kind of cuddle up with a nice, warm, and comforting Irish coffee. Seriously, I highly recommend you check out the game. It's amazing and you won't regret it. But if you like this video and want to see more, I'd really appreciate it if you'd like and subscribe. If you have any other liquor you'd like me to review, let me know in the comments below. If you want to see what I make outside this channel, follow me on Twitter at Mr. Space Lion or Instagram at Mr. Space Lion. But thank you so much for stopping by the Lions Lounge. I'm Mike, and I hope to see you next time.